Hello fellow astrophotographers, uh, it's been a while since we have released our uh, Dovetail kit for Red Cat 51 and uh, ZWO electronic autofocuser. Um, since then we got a lot of feedback regarding the kit and uh, a lot of people use the Red Cat and electronic autofocuser in combination with uh, ZWO uh, RCR computer. So, uh, we decided to prepare a kit that's designed especially for us air usage and for mounts with lower payload like trackers so you can easily take it onto the dark side um, in spirit of that we prepared the kit so it's lightweight and compact uh, no tools are required for attaching it to the red cat except for a few bolts to attach the motor and us air to the kit um, it has lower center of mass, so it means less stress on the RA axis of the telescope mount. Um, it has a front mounting on the red cat, so it's not um, at the back or at the top, but it's here in the front at the dew shield where the locking is at the version 2 red cat. Um, this means that it also better balances because the camera adds the weight on the back so the focuser in the front counters that weight so it's more balanced in that sense um, also the top ring mounting spot is free to use for guide scope or anything else um, our kit doesn't use that um, it also s serves as the new shield uh, locking ring because the version 2 Red Cat Dew Shield freely rotates when it's unlocked, which can be quite annoying. Um, and we also have uh, the tensioner for the belt here, so you can adjust the tension of the belt. Um, it can achieve the optimal belt tightness um, and it's also backlash free because there are no gears. Uh, belt driven system um, is well tested solution on Red Cat 51 and also is built in into Red Cat 71 so in our experience it's the best option for autofocusing. Um, also our kit has built in adjustable AC air mount which I will demonstrate shortly um, and adjustable MXL ring. Um, which solves the problem of some tolerances issues with the rubber band of the red cat because the diameter of the helical focuser can vary a bit due to the tolerance differences of this uh, rubber band um, and without further ado let's get to the mounting first we can attach the electronic auto focuser which is simple just slide it in and attach it with two m4 bolts if you will use it primarily with uh, this kit, you can just leave it in, no need to take it in and out. Now we can attach the mounting plate onto the ACR. This can also stay on if you use it with this set. It's basically just like an adapter, so it can be easily attached and removed from our kit. Like so. And now you simply attach it with hand controlled bolts, so no need for Allen keys anymore from this point on. Like so. Okay, and the last thing for which we will need the Allen key is of course the belt pulley. We attach it onto the shaft of the motor. And that's it. Now we can put the Allen keys away, take the red cat, first you slide the belt on, 
to prepare it. Now you simply open up our kit all the way, put it in front of the red cat and slide it on. Attach it here onto the view shield. Make sure also that it's unlocked. Okay. Now just use the hand controlled and three bolt to tighten it on the dew shield, adjust it a bit better so it's centered. Now let's just tighten this down. Okay, we can see where the pull is. We simply take the MXL ring, put it around and in line with the pulley and attach it with the hand controlled M3 bolt. So, as you can see, to attach and remove this kit from the Red Cat, you don't need no Allen keys. It's all done with hand controlled screws, like so. Okay, this is attached. Now you simply put the belt first onto the motor pulley, then onto the ring, like so. Now belt is loose and you just tighten it with the belt tensioner until it's tensioned without too much slack like so okay, just a little more and this is it it's attached ready to be used as here it can be slightly adjusted in position and you're ready to auto focus. Clear skies.